a video into your sequence, you just have to drag and drop it from your media library towards your photo and video track of the timeline. As you can see, the video takes its original duration on the timeline and its original size on the stage area that you can directly change. When you click on a video on the stage area or on the timeline, the video properties windows appears on the top right. In here, you can change the start and duration of the video. You can also change these values directly on the timeline by clicking and dragging the endpoint of the element or all the video element. Also from the video properties window, you can change the video's volume, you can add video controls to it, and once you add video controls, you can choose to play it automatically or not, or to play the video on loops. If you want your video to have the same size as your player, you just have to click on the Fit Media to Window option. So if I move my video to zero seconds so I can directly see the result and click on play to see my video and the player, the video will launch automatically and I will be able to play or pause it since it has controls and I'll be able to move around by clicking on the progress bar. By default, videos are set to autoplay, so if I uncheck video controls, I will no longer be able to check or uncheck the autoplay option. Also from the video properties windows, I can change the X, Y values, as well as the width and height, that I can also change directly from the stage, and the value will change accordingly in the properties window. When you add a video to your sequence, it has a fade in and fade out of one second. I can change the transition in and the transition out and also change their values in seconds.